lads and welcome to this now today I am bringing you the second episode of Fleetwood Signings now before I get into this I'd like to give a credit to Sam for the idea I didn't do it yesterday in yesterday's video so I'm sorry for that so go and check his channel out links will be in the description um, now Josh Morris we have signed Josh Morris from Scunthorpe now if you wonder why I'm excited Fleetwood have had him before now we had Danny Andrew before from 2014 to 16 we have Morris from 2014 to 2015. So, it's really good that we've got him back. He's one of my all-time favourite Fleetwood players. Um, he's a left-hand side midfielder. He can play in the central midfield. Um, he's good. He's got a good uh, shot on him. He can cut in and put it in the far corner uh, and give keepers no chance. And he's got that little bit special about him. Now, last year he did get relegated with Scunthorpe, up, but he only played 19 times in Skybet League 1. He scored five goals and seven assists. He did score in the last game of the season a great goal against Plymouth. Um, like where he chipped the goalkeeper, but I think the keeper kind of rolled it out, but he played on. It was a good finish. It was a good, um, obviously, he's, he's got it in his locker. Um, he's a great player going forward. He works hard. He's quite fit. Um, he puts a shift in. He, he can guarantee you a load of games every single year. Um, and he trains hard. So And he's got a good attitude, which what you need in a footballer. So it's so good to have him back now. I've seen that so many times. Like, we've always waited too long to get players in. It's good to see that we've got two in, two good players in this space of three days before they come back. Now I think um, we need to improve defensively. I think we could do with a couple of centre-backs. Try and bring suits back, that'd be great. Uh, left back, we are already sorted. Right back, I think we need another one to give Southern Hales competition. Um, goalkeeper, will Krellin be it? And a couple of new midfielders, and I think, and maybe a striker, then we're done. So maybe six or seven more players, then we're done. But it's a very good signing. He rejected the likes of Portsmouth, QPR, Reading, uh, Wigan, um, Sunderland, big clubs in this league he rejected to come back to Fleetwood. So he tells you something about the ambition of the club. If Danny Andrews rejecting Doncaster, to come to Fleetwood, like everyone calling it a back could step, but think of the ambition. Think like he's been here before, he's done it here before. He actually won the free kick that Anthony Sarsovic scored uh, to get us up to League One, which was a special moment in my life. Um, so yeah, he can play in a range of different positions. As I said yesterday, his video he does like versatility. Does Joey Barton? What do you think, Scunthorpe fans? Is that a good signing for Fleetwood? Obviously, last season. Five goals, seven assists. In his whole time at Scunthorpe, he did get into the League One team of the season in 2016-2017, where he scored like 19 goals. He did score 35 goals in his 107th, um, 107 Scunthorpe appearances, and the fans loved him. Um, like this year, he got a goal, um, uh, like literally like one every three games, which for a midfield is quality. He scored uh, one against Plymouth, two against Wimbledon. He got a hat trick assist against the 3 3 draw against Rochdale at home, which, like I say, he's got that. When he's on form, he's brilliant. He like he scored last, uh, not last season, the season before. He scored a couple against us then. Like, he normally always does well against us. So, I'm really happy he's come back. It's a statement from the club. I'm really, really delighted. Um, like I say, we need to build on it now. We need to have a good season. I think we've had really, really good season last year. But this year, the chairman, the backroom staff, the manager wants to take it to a next level. It's okay having a good season, but you need to make sure you back it up next season and go one step further. And that's what we're doing. We're trying to do. Danny Andrew, a good side on the left. Morris, a good side on the left. It's just now working on the right. But like I say, Hunter Madden and Morris as a front three. Like, that's... I'd put it up there. They will get between... 40 and 50 goals next season. Madden scored, I think, 19 last season. Hunter scored like eight, um, and Chad got like seven, eight, 19. So um, all together, they got like 46 goals between them, and then you got assists. So they created like 60 goals in all competitions last year. Um, so hopefully, it's a good signing. The fixtures do come out tomorrow, as you will, will as you will be watching this. Um, I'd like a good away game first, if that's good. Try and get off the mark. It is important for Josh Morris to score quick because it can, like, you know, um, get on it, get on his back. He's not scored yet. He did score his first field goal, I think, at Cheltenham away in 2014, which is with us for League Two for the six months on from Blackburn, and then he stayed for another year, and then he kind of left Blackburn for I think Scunthorpe, and he was there a few years, and now he's come back. He's 27. He signed on a two-year deal, but what a signing that is! 
Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you are new, please subscribe. We are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. And if you can subscribe, that will mean the absolute world. If I do get 4,000 subscribers by the start of the year, I will be wearing a full fleet town kit. And I will get Josh Morris on the background because he is my old, one of my all-time favorite fleet players. Morris 11. You will take up my number 11 shirt. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe. Also, turn notifications on if you want to see more. And thank you for watching. Peace out.